we have seen before that if the VDS that is the potential between the drain and the source terminal is equal to the pinch of voltage then the depletion region of both the gate terminals come very close to each other but they must not touch because if they touch then the potential drops okay so what uh, what would happen if the vds is further increased we must always remember that the de depletion region must not overlap each other at any cost so what happens the along the length the depletion region increases along the length of the n channel as we go on increasing the vds value the depletion region increases unless uh, throughout the region the depletion region the di uh, the distance between both the depletion region becomes constant then on increasing further the depletion region enters into a breakdown state and electrons flow at a much faster rate this is the effect of effect of the increase of voltage from drain to source beyond the pinch of voltage so what would happen what would be the effect of this on the drain current the drain current does not increase further on increasing the vds as it has already reached its maximum value as we had seen before that on increasing the value of vds id increased or the drift current increased or the drain current increased but when it has already reached the pinch of condition on further increasing the value of VDS the drain current does not increase any further as it has already reached its maximum value that was before reaching the pinch of condition thus JFET can act as a constant current source when the voltage is between v, uh, when the voltage between the drain and the source terminal is between the breakdown voltage and is between the pinch of voltage that is the VDS must be greater than the pinch of voltage and must be less than the breakdown voltage then JFET can act as a constant current source. Now for the second case that is now VDS must be greater than zero and as we had discussed in the previous stage that VGS would be equal to zero. Here the VGS is less than zero or negative uh, negative potential. That is at the gate, it is the negative terminal of the battery is connected, and at the source, the positive terminal of the battery is connected. Therefore, the P junctions are the P type of the PN junction is already connected at a lower terminal. Therefore, what would happen at a lower value of VDS? the pinch of condition would reach so here the gate is connected to the negative terminal of the VGS and the source is connected to the positive terminal of the VGS battery provided similarly here as we had done in the previous case that the drain is connected to the positive terminal of VDD and the source is connected to the negative terminal of VDD. So what happens here that the uh, that the pinch of condition is reached as at a much earlier state because the negative or the reverse biasing potential is easily achieved because negative uh, potential is provided at the P junction. Therefore, 
we reach the pinch of condition or the saturation condition at a much lower value for vds thus the objective of this negative voltage at gate is to obtain saturation at a lower value of vds now we would be doing the various characteristics of jfet the first is the static characteristics of jfet or the output or drain characteristics of jfet in the output characteristics as we had seen in bjt that we had to plot between the output current that is emitter current that is the collector current and the input uh, and the output voltage that is the collected emitter voltage okay similarly in jfet we have to plot between the output current that is the drain current id and uh, the output voltage that is the drain to source voltage vds so what would be the output or drain characteristics it would be output current id versus the output voltage vds this is plotted at a constant value of the input voltage since the output current depends upon the input voltage this plot is done for different values of vgs that is the input voltage the plot of the output characteristics is given by where the x axis is given by the independent quantity that is vds and id or the drain current is given as the y axis as it is the dependent quantity so here as we see that this plot is for vgs is equal to 0 volts for the first case in we see that on increasing vds initially we get a straight path Uh, we get a straight locus for the id that is id changes directly pro uh, in a directly proportional manner with respect to vds but as soon as a certain voltage or the pinch of voltage is reached the ids does not the id does not increase any further and it remains at a constant value since vgs is equal to 0 this is the idss or the saturation value of the drain current of this is the maximum amount of drain current that can flow through any jfet of that particular condition so this value is the vp or the pinch of voltage of the at vgs is equal to 0 this is the first case when we take the second case that is we take vgs to be negative less than 0 we take vgs to be suppose minus 1 volt then similarly as in the first case initially id increases in a directly proportional manner with vds but after a certain uh voltage that is the pinch of voltage it again become it again becomes constant but since the vgs value is negative therefore the pinch of condition reaches a, at a much lower value of id or a much lower value of vds therefore id is not as high 
as VGS is equal to 0 volt. Similarly, for VGS is equal to minus 2 volt, we get the same plot but at a much lower pinch of voltage as the PN junction formed in the JFET is already reversed bias due to the negative potential and it requires a much smaller value of VDS to be reversed to reach the pinch of condition. So what would happen if further VDS is increased? On further increasing VDS at a certain for a certain period of time we would see that or a certain period of VDS we would see that the current remains constant but it soon reaches a breakdown voltage and then the current increases drastically. Similarly for VGS is equal to minus volt it also reaches breakdown and similarly for VGS is equal to minus 2 volt it also reaches break, uh, breakdown after a certain voltage that is the breakdown voltage and after that the current increases in a, an exponential rate. So this plot or this gray output characteristics can be classified into three main categories or three main parts. The first part is before the pinch of condition is reached. That is we would take the locus of all the pinch of voltages that we have got for different values of gate to source voltage. This is known as the pinch of locus. The locus of the pinch of voltages for different VGS value is the pinch of locus. So before this the, the region is known as the ohmic region. As in this region the uh, drain current increases in a ohmic manner or a linear manner with respect to change in the drain to source voltage. After this condition is, is reached the drain current remains constant for a certain period of time. This period of time during this period of VDS or this range of VDS when the drain current remains constant is known as the saturation region. After uh, reaching the breakdown voltage the current the drain current increases in an exponential manner. Uh, so after this region is known as the breakdown region. So the three main regions in the drain characteristics are the ohmic region, this region occurs before the pinch of voltage is reached when the drain current is directly proportional to the change in the drain to source voltage then is the saturation region, this region lies between the pinch of voltage and the breakdown voltage uh, till uh, when the drain current remains constant saturation region and the third region is the breakdown region that is after the breakdown voltage is reached when the current increases in an exponential manner. These are the three main regions. Transfer characteristics of JFET. The plot showing the variations of IDSS that is the output current and the gate source voltage that is the input voltage for a constant value of drain to source voltage that is the output voltage is known as the transfer. Uh, transfer characteristics of the 
junction field effect transistor. As we are done in the output characteristics or drain characteristics, we had seen that initially with increase of VDS, ID increases in a linear manner. But after reaching the pinch of voltage, it keeps a constant value that is IDSS for uh, the VGS is equal to zero volt. And similarly, after for each uh, cases of VGS, uh, it has certain it has a certain pinch of voltage and after which the current becomes constant. That is, JFET acts as a constant current source. So, what we would do here that we would plot the constant values of ID for various cases of VGS in the transfer characteristics in a, in a mirror image. So, plotting it we get this plot that we have got when we have plotted the saturation current for each of the gate to source voltage condition is known as the transfer characteristics of the junction field effect transistor. The relation of relation of ID with VGS is given as ID is equal to IDSS into 1 minus VGS by VP whole square. This is the this shows that the drain current is ID is dependent upon VGS square and therefore we get a quadratic plot of ID in the transfer characteristics.